I didn't know if I was going to be able to find a way out, but I knew that I had to do something. I wanted to live. My name is Louis Carazana. I was diagnosed with Merkel cell carcinoma at age 52. I was taking a shower, and as I was soaping up, I felt a lump on my right groin. I knew that there was something wrong. I got the results on my birthday. The first words out of his mouth were that he was very sorry. And I asked him, I said, you know, what are you so sorry about? And that's when he informed me that I was afflicted with Merkel cell carcinoma. Immediately, I went online. And I still remember the first line, a very aggressive, form of skin cancer, 98% mortality. I thought that there was a distinct possibility that I could die, but I also thought that there was also a possibility that I could be part of that 2%. The team began with Dr. Coit. He's a surgeon who removed 23 lymph nodes from my right groin. We still didn't know the extent of my condition, and we were hoping that with the surgery, we would get all of the cancer out. I met Lewis after he had his surgery where we, we found that he had had multiple lymph nodes involved. And so Dr. Coit sent him uh, to meet me to talk a little bit about uh, the role of any strategies to potentially decrease the risk of this Merkel cell coming back and spreading after Dr. Coit had operated on him. I didn't have much to offer. Uh, I, I didn't have any good therapies to say, well, let's, let's try this drug and, and maybe you know, this will prevent the cancer from coming back. More than a year later, I was in the shower and I got another call and I said, don't tell me it's back. And she said, yes, it's back. And we want you to see Dr. D'Angelo. My initial reaction was Dr. D'Angelo said that she can't give me chemo, so I don't see you know, how that can help me. And she said, there's something new. I talked to Lewis about a new clinical trial that I had just opened with a drug called Avelimab. First, she told me, this has a chance of saving your life. Do you remember that? She was very honest with me about all of the different things that could happen, which makes you a little bit nervous, but also gives you the confidence to do something because you know that people are watching out for you. Uh, a couple of weeks had gone by, and I believe I'd had three treatments, and I had a CT scan to see what effect, if any, uh, had happened to the tumors. And it was my sister and my mother. When the news came, my tumors had been reduced by 42%. I hit the ceiling. They were laughing, crying, we were hugging. There's a lot of fear uh, that's centered around cancer, and I think that it's appropriate. But I think understanding that there are strides being made, you know, day by day, and, and those strides affect our patients. I think to be at the cutting edge of medicine is very important. Dr. D'Angelo is a brilliant person who truly, truly cares about her patients. Being at the forefront of the field is amazing, but that's not why I'm here doing what I do. I'm here to improve the lives of my patients. I think we think about the word cure a lot in, in oncology, yeah. And, yeah. and as doctors, we're almost afraid to use that word. What I know is that we've been able to control your cancer now for almost over two years. Mm -hmm. um, and so to me, whether or not that's a cure, it's almost like it's semantics. I think, you know, are we controlling your disease? Are you living your life? Are you having side effects? And, and that's how I th think about it. I tell Dr. D'Angelo that I think I'm a different person than I was. I think we all evolve and we all, you know, go on a journey. And this has been a journey for me. So I feel that, that the future is bright, both for me and for other people. The advances are coming. I may not be able to take advantage of all of them, but someone will. And I think that that's important.